Joining me now is Democratic Senator Peter Welch of Vermont. He's a co-sponsor of this bipartisan bicameral bill. Senator, welcome. Thank you. What exactly does this bill aim to do? Uh, to really save money for the merchants who are getting, in my view, ripped off by the Visa MasterCard duopoly, where a lot of folks don't know this, but when you use your credit card, it's convenient for you, but the merchant has to pay oftentimes 2 to 3 percent. In the smaller the merchant, the higher that fee is. So if you spend $100, the merchant only gets 97 and these fees are one of the biggest expenses, and it's particularly rough on our small businesses uh, in, in our, all of our communities. In the United States, <clears throat> is the only country where we uh, have no regulation on how much those fees can be. And Visa MasterCard charge in the United States about 10 times the fee that is charged in the European Union and other countries around the world brutal cost on our small businesses and no bargaining power. What yeah. our bill would do was introduce competition. It would say that there has to be at least two processing terminals, the Visa MasterCard that you might use when you go, but another one so that the merchant would be able to make a choice and pick which processing uh, device they use if they can get a better bargain uh, from another uh, competitor. No competition. We want to introduce competition right. into this arrangement. Although the bagel shop or the, the hair salon might say, OK, that's now two card processing things and the fees aren't that different. And this is just a, a big headache and it's not saving. I mean, all of us consumers, Senator, have certainly noticed when we're at these establishments, the surcharge for those card networks is being passed along. You know, we're all getting three percent extra every time you use a credit card. But the reason I personally haven't used a debit card and I continue to pay that 3% is because of the fraud protection. You know, it's so rampant now that I'd rather have a credit card where there's at least a, a chance that I can go to that provider and say, hey, you know, there's fraud. You've got to shut this down. We've got to work on this bill. A debit card, the money's gone. Yeah, no, you're right. But what we're doing in the fraud protection is a good thing. But the fraud protection has been enhanced enormously, especially with the chip cards. And the other device, the routing device, would be required to have the same benefit of fraud protection that you enjoy now under the current arrangement. Bottom line here is most of us consumers, it doesn't affect us because if we pay our credit card, well, there's no cost to us. But that merchant, our small town merchant, uh, that local grocery store, the coffee shop, the bagel shop, that expense, 2 to 3 percent, that is oftentimes their second highest business expense. Absolutely. And it's putting the squeeze on them. And you know what? Inflation is good for Visa MasterCard. You know, it's not as though they have additional expenses when you spend $100 or $10. It's just the same processing, electronic. So bottom line here is why should our merchants pay absolutely the highest credit card transaction fees in the world in about 10 times higher than Europe. That's not fair. It's not right. And it is a function of there being absolutely no competition in the area. Capitalism, you know, we're, we're supposed to have competition. And that's the heart of what yeah. our bipartisan bill does. It now, restores competition.